Hi, this is Dr. Red Allen Saad from Arlington, Texas. Today, I want to talk to you about plasma operation for gynecology. First, a little bit about myself. I've started the Allen Saad Institute since 2005, and these are my disclosures. I used to be in California, and now I'm in Texas. I have a great team in Texas with Dion here on the right side. I've worked for companies such as Compex, InMode, SonicWens. I've taught for um, about 20 plus years and 30 years of pelvic surgery training. I have a textbook that I was able to create with Dr. Hamorian Banwell. And I've also been a founder of the Congress of Aesthetic Vulvovaginal Surgery. And we ran that from 2005 to 2015. And now it's part of the ISCG Congress. Very proud of that. More of my disclosures is that I'm the developer and designer and patent owner of the pelvic floor mesh designs that are out there both biologic and polypropylene. I also own the patent for sling with bladder support and some of the sling systems that are now quite popular in the United States, the Caldera, the Sara sling system I helped design. Also, I designed the surgical tables so that you can do your surgeries with your elbows being still and you can do labioplasty surgeries well. I also am designer of the Allen Sod instruments, such as the scissors, pickups, and clamps, and the O-Shot speculum that you see. All my surgical innovations and inventions in the past have included radiofrequency surgery, the Barbie and hybrid look labioplasty, lateral medial vertical clitoral hood reduction. The major plasties that are done nowadays are techniques I develop, fat pad reduction, radiofrequency feathering, and grooving for creating labia from no labia, pillar hymenoplasty technique, also, the Femexa Vampire Wing Lift, Microtumescent Labial Block that allowed in-office awake labioplasty, and also the Pudendo Levator Block, which allowed in-office awake vaginoplasty, and also now the in-office anal skin tag excisions. I also am the inventor of the Lone Star Retractor that many of you um, have seen and may have used already. Also, the Thermiva is my invention from about 10 years ago. And also now, I have the patent for genital predictive permeation or electroporation. And now, we actually are using it as plasma poration. This is what I'm going to talk to you about today, the science of plasma poration. So what is plasma poration? It's a method of dermoelectroporation that's more modern. So we call it plasma poration because of the plasma created at the tip. It's a device for tissue engineering and for also skin tightening, similar to radiofrequency treatments. And I also want to tell you what else it can do. Many of you have heard of electroporation in the past and the high current levels that are applied with electroporation open up pores and deliver large molecules. It causes severe skin damage when it's more than 5 milliamperes and it's uncomfortable, it hurts and it burns and causes pain. And in most cases, it's only for lab testing because they don't have good software. The first generation of electroporation are these devices that I've used in the past decade. I've used them all and they're FDA cleared as an alternative to injections. So instead of using needles, you can use these devices to open up the water channels in the skin and push big and small molecules through the cell membrane and it's less than five milliamps so it doesn't cause a lot of pain. Now you can notice that the hand pieces have multiple dots and circles on them. You can see here and because the the current goes from one one dot to the other, one dot to the other and that is the way the first generation works. I want to show you the second generation of FDA-approved plasma operation, approved in January of this year. It's the Jet Medical 2 in the United States, and it's Jet Medical for Her 2 all around the world. They are direct current and not AC current, and it creates a plasma at the very tip of the wand, and it's able to freeze membranes, cell membranes open longer and have larger pores. And the pores are open for a longer period of time so you can push product into the cell and at the same time produce heat, which tightens the skin and starts the healing cascade. The first generation you can see here had multiple metal circular probes here. And those open up the water channels and you can push all these products under the skin, such as hyaluronic acid, PRP, exosomes, and it's bipolar. The second generation, the newer one, with a single metal tip. You can use a silver tip that's non-ablative or a gold tip that's ablative. And these single tips are unipolar, but with the new unipolars, no hair gets stuck, and you can use this in the scalp, the face, the neck, the genital area. The alternating current 
AC power, there's oscillation and, and a sinusoidal pattern occurs. This is the old generation one system. The skin feels there are a uniform sensation and an example of AC alternating current is radio frequency energy and the tissue response is great to help relieve pain. It's used in tense unit to help with muscle spasms and it can induce deeper tissue effects without much discomfort. And it's also able to shrink tissue like most of you know if you have radio frequency devices, but it has no electroporation. The second generation of electroporation is called plasma poration and it uses direct current for tissue engineering. The direct current is a constant flow of electrical charge in one direction. It's a stable voltage and it creates a stronger electrochemical reaction and it uses specialized precision software to be able to do this. You can regulate the milliampere energy for the comfort and speed of poration or speed at which chemicals can enter the cell. It prevents burns and it helps tissue engineering and also tissue shrinkage. It stimulates the healing cascade. And lastly, plasma operation occurs. The plasma operation is made by a company in the Czech Republic called Compex. It's non-invasive and it's a del drug delivery system. You got to think of it as number one. It's a drug delivery system because it opens up the water channels. It also is used by me. I use this in my labioplasty case, vaginoplasty cases to push numbing cream deep under the skin to reduce the discomfort of injections and you can do your procedures in the office. I also push biologics such as exosomes and PRP under the skin to help with tissue engineering. It results in also a tightened skin lightening of the skin if you use vitamin C and you can improve the sensation and heighten the sensitivity of tissues because like radio frequency, it increases the small nerve fiber density. So it's a transdermal delivery system that opens up the water channels. Membranes are depolarized. It's reversible. The heat up to 42 degrees Celsius also starts the healing cascade. There's a strong chemical reaction at the tip, it changes the polarity, the pH also changes, and the localized heat increases the histamine release. And with the histamine release, there's vasodilation and increased blood flow and increased permeability of the cell membrane. Now it can absorb nutrients and water and the cells get plumper. What can it do? Well, when you start the healing cascade, you stimulate fibroblasts, you have angiogenesis, collagenesis, elastogenesis, neurogenesis, very similar to RF. But now you have the addition of a d drug delivery system. You don't just tighten the skin, increase the blood flow. You can actually deliver products into the cell. If you remember when radio frequency or plasma operation hits these nerve endings, these blue ones at the bottom here, it releases vasoactive neuropeptides and causes the arterioles to dilate. Here's the before. You can see the difference of the arterioles, very small, non-dilated, but then when it's stimulated by plasma operation, it dilates and it allows exudate to go into the vaginal canal as fluid. So there's an increase in blood flow, there's an increase in transudate, there's an increase in tightness because of the heat, sensitivity increases because of the increase in small nerve fiber density, healing improves, and the patient feels a lot more confidence, and their quality of life is also improved, and there is a great deal of moisture that's created in the vaginal canal. So this is how actually how it works. If you look here, there's a small silver tip. This is a silver tip. These, these right here are silver. So the silver tip is placed on the skin with a gel and with a the gel there, it protects from any prickly sensation. And then a micro discharge occurs in the gel between the applicator and the tissue. And these discharge cause an increase in electric intensity and will result in opening up of these cell membranes. And it reaches a certain threshold, the pores are opened up and they arise all over the cell. Lots and lots of these tiny little holes are created in the cell. The gold tips, if you use these right here on the right side, these tiny little ones, the gold tips you can use for HPV, molluscum, polyps, because they are ablative, a surgical device with the gold tips. So what happens when you do these treatments with plasma operation? There's a local increase in electrical intensity causing nanopore formation. You can see all these nanopores form all over the cell. A high concentration of electrical potential here. So what can happen now 
is that these molecules can easily go through these pores, such as exosomes, PRP, amniotic fluid, even collagen, hyaluronic acid. It just plumps it all up and helps the cell stay healthy. Even vitamin C for lightening up the tissues. For example, using vitamin C for the face to lighten up the brown spots in the face or in the genital area to even out the skin tone. Here are the picture of the nanopores that you can see. So many of these are created along the cell and it helps with the tissue engineering because now the electrochemotherapy and electrogene therapy can, can occur because you're pushing PRP or exosomes and other products in the skin for cosmetic treatments or even medical treatments. 90% of these substrates stay around for many, many days. So this is a device, it's small, it's portable, battery powered, and you have a foot control. Of course, you can plug it into a wall too, and it has eight intensities and it's zero disposables. Did you hear that? Zero disposables. You don't have to buy any disposables. It's the only direct current plasma device for gynecologic rejuvenation in the world. There's this one study I wanted to mention to you, if the patients tolerated the procedures well, if they had any complications or pain, but it was really for vaginal laxity to see the safety of it and see if it actually works um, immediately after a couple of weeks, one month, three months, six months, and 12 months. So the primary endpoint was to see if the vaginal laxity would decrease using the VL Q questionnaire. And there were also secondary endpoints to see if there were any side effects or adverse events and to see how happy the patients were and if it even helped any of the stress incontinence as a secondary endpoint. Also, they used FSFI and SSQ for sexual function evaluation. So what did they find here? In general, there was an improvement in all the parameters, the VLQ um, all the way to the FSFI showed an improvement of approximately 20 plus percent. It wasn't tremendously dramatic, but there were other things that it was able to find. The tissues improved and these patients had an average of 118% increase in the thickness of the epithelial cell layer. So it was actually quite useful in GSM and thickening of the skin and improving moisture. It was quite remarkable. If you look at this biopsy of a 45 year old before how disorganized and thin the skin was. And after, it looks like a normal, youthful person with a 133% increase in epithelial thickness. Another one also showed pH was lowered and the moisture improved in this patient. And on the second patient also, another one for you, there was an increase in 149% of the epithelial layer. And also, again, the pH was lowered and the moisture improved in this patient. I'm gonna show you about a minute of what I use it for here for numbing tissues up. You can see I, I sped this up a little bit. I put the numbing cream right onto the tissue and the numbing cream is absorbed as you open up the water channels and as it gets absorbed, the numbing effect kicks in. You can also use vitamin C to lighten up this tissue. You can use PRP or exosomes if they have lichen sclerosis to control the discomfort. It increases blood flow, thickness of collagen, increase in elasticity, and also increase the small nerve fiber density. So it's quite a useful device. And now I wanna show you other things that it can do. This is a patient that I did surgery on. And after I did the surgery, I used the plasma operation to plump up her tissues and help improve the healing. So this is the external treatment I'm using. On the inside, I can improve the, the moisture with this probe here. It, 360 degrees, 90 degrees at a time. And after you, you do the anterior compartment, you can do the posterior compartment. And then you can go to a smaller one and treat right to the mid urethra if they have incontinence or overactive bladder. So it's a very excellent device without disposables. These are reusable. And so it's quite inexpensive for a practice. So you can push collagen deep under the skin. You can see here an example of before treatment and on the right is after treatment, how much collagen can be pushed onto the skin with this device. You can also see how with fluorescent hyaluronic acid, it was able to go deep into a hair shaft right here. I use this for my hair treatments with PRP and with exosomes deep into the hair shaft and improve the, the quality of hair. It's excellent for penetration into the hair follicles. I've also used it for a drug delivery system, a tissue engineering system, and also for skin tightening. Let me go over this one by one for you. Drug delivery, open up the water channels. You can push PRP, exosomes, collagen, hyaluronic acid, even Botox for sweaty palms, sweaty armpits, and also for pain control. For tissue engineering, 
results in angiogenesis, collagenesis, elastogenesis, neurogenesis, and it is great for lichen sclerosis and even eczema when you push products such as PRP or even topical steroids under the skin. For skin tightening, it's great to, to tighten the external vulva to make it beautiful. It can also be used for skin lightening with vitamin C or kojic acid, or, or you can use anything such as hydroquinone or tranexamic acid to lighten the skin. And it also will heighten the sensitivity because it increases the small nerve fiber density. It can help with hair loss. So this is approved in EU and the world for GSM and atrophy, discomfort and pain, rejuvenation, incontinence, and labial shrinkage. There are new applications coming out. These are the new probes coming out that will be used into the cervix for cervical erosion, cervical ectropy, cervical HPV infection treatment, and perhaps cervical metaplasia treatment. It's just coming out and more research is being done on it. It's not available in the United States yet. The gold tips, I think, are wonderful. These right here, because they are ablative. Remember, silver tips are non-ablative, but the gold tips are ablative, and they've been used in ophthalmology and plastic surgery to shrink up tissues, cause some local damage. You can remove benign vascular lesions, angioma, telangiectaceous. You can remove HPB, warts, molluscum, polyps, fibromas. It's used in ophthalmology for even ectropion. The DC fulguration affects a small area of the skin compared to AC current and is exceptionally precise and accurate. You can even use it to get rid of the small anal skin tags. It does not damage the surrounding tissues because it's so precise. Here's some results of the tightening effects you can see before treatment in the left immediately after the first treatment, after three months later on the right, it's progressive tightening of the skin, similar to radio frequency effects. You can use vitamin C as in this patient before and after. You can see the dramatic change in the skin tone after just three treatments. Even in the darkest skin, you can also lighten the vulva here after three treatments with this device and vitamin C. For lichen sclerosis, you can also get similar effects areas that are pale and itchy. You can put PRP or exosomes in this area and, and use the plasma poration to push it under the skin and calm the inflammation down. So in summary, plasma poration is an alternative to injections. It helps with tissue engineering of the skin. It tightens and lightens, and it can heighten intensity of sensitivity. It's superior to electroporation and microneedling, and the silver heads have a similar biological effect as radio frequency, and the gold heads have the precision and ablative effects of electrocautery, but very, very precise. It's one third the price of radio frequency and lasers, so it's a great starting tool for those who are going to cosmetic gynecology to start with, because you can achieve things RF and laser cannot do, such as electroporation. It's the new standard for GYN or primary care practice, in my opinion, and it's one box to rule them all. I really think this is the one box that can help a practice get started and get going in the non-surgical cosmetic gynecology field. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Go to mygyneflix.com and get more information on the surgical videos that are available there for you. For more information, take a picture of this. I'm at redgyneflix.com. There's my telephone number. And those are the websites that you can get more information. And I'm happy to talk to you and tell you more about it. Thank you very much.